Hey guys, and welcome back to the CTFC Perspective, and today's video is the third episode of our new series, Transfer Talk. It seemed like you guys really did enjoy the last episode, but if you haven't watched already, there should be something popping up at the top of your screen right now. Click on it and go check it out. We would really appreciate it if you could. But just in case you haven't watched that episode already and you just want to get the latest news out of the way, that is completely fine. The whole point of this series is I bring to your attention 10 transfer for rumors slash confirmed transfers seven of those are going to be quick fire so i'm just going to get them to you as fast as i can just giving you the basic needed information of the transfer com confirmation or rumor and then three at the end of the video i'm going to go into more in-depth analysis about the player and the transfer itself the whole concept of this series is for me and tyler to convey the latest transfer information just in a quick a short and snappy style and we don't want to waste any more of your time so just before we do get into the video if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss a video it would mean the world to us but without further ado let's get into it so the first of our quick fire transfers is a rumor sadly all of today are transfer rumors as all the information that we have done it doesn't seem like there has been that many confirmed transfers or any at all really over the last coming days this transfer rumor is carlisle are interested in re-signing jamie devitt both player and club are interested in the move but nothing has been confirmed yet Next up, we move to Brentford, and they are interested in Oldham youngster Tom Hammer. The third transfer room of the day is for you Portsmouth fans. This is because Portsmouth are interested in signing Blackburn defender Charlie Mulgrew on loan. Looks like it's just interest at the moment. No actual official contact has been made. At uh, this moment in time. This next quickfire transfer is one that might excite you Swansea fans. This is because your club have put a bid in for Charlie Kelman from Southend. Your penultimate quickfire transfer is revolving around David Cornell. Fleetwood are the latest to join Ipswich, Derby and Birmingham in a four horse race it seems to sign. And finally we end with another man in high demand and that is Otis Cam. MK Dons and Doncaster are the latest teams to join the race for this player, but it seems like there are offers from all levels of English football. We now move on to the section of the video where I go in depth on the final three signings, and this first one is around Danny Graham. The official story is that Ipswich have joined the race to sign the Blackburn striker. So you can safely say that he hasn't had the greatest season in his career, getting four goals and one assist in his 38 appearances but you can see why clubs are going in for him because he had a very experienced and you could say high quality career. He is mainly based in the center forward position, but he can possibly play on the left wing as he has done it in the past. By a very high quality and experienced career, I mean he has played for 13 different clubs. Now these clubs include Blackburn, Wolves, Leeds, Swansea, Sunderland's, like a lot of big clubs and that is some that I'm even missing out such as Middlesbrough like there there are a lot of big clubs in there Blackpool and I know obviously there are some lower down teams such as Darlington but in 2013-14 his market value hit up to just under three million pounds and he has gone anywhere just slightly below that to a lot below that but still that means you've got a decent player on your hands and if you can get s slightly what he was doing in previous seasons you have a really good player on your hands because the 34 year old has almost played six hundred career games in the championship he has got 85 goals and 31 assists in just under 300 appearances around 265 in league one we're talking 70 goal contributions in just over 140 games and the man has even done some things in the Premier League, getting just under 40 goal contributions in 124 Premier League appearances. This means over the player's entire career, just under 600 appearances, he gets a goal every 233 minutes. And yes, I know that's not spectacular, as some world-class strikers get it around the 100 mark but that is still decent if you can get hold of him and the second transfer room which i'm going to be going in detail into is the story that cheltenham town have targeted joshua griffiths 
So, Cheltenham obviously do need a goalkeeper for a short amount of time as their main goalkeeper, as you know, Scott Flinders, is speculated to be injured until January. And this loan move for Joshua Griffiths could be a good one as, as he is only 18, he hasn't played that much football, but with the information I can bring to your attention, it is looking quite positive. His only real experience is in the Premier League 2, where he has made six appearances. And within those six appearances, he has only conceded one goal and actually made five clean sheets. Now, obviously, the Premier League 2 isn't the best and most competitive of competitions, but it shows that he has got some talent and some potential and could do some real business for Cheltenham next season. And the final story is Grimsby Town, and they are interested in a very big name this summer, this being Charlie Adam. I mean, the name Charlie Adam speaks for itself, really. An amazing player in his day. Right now, he is aging a little bit. He has got two goals and two assists, as well as four yellow cards in his 21 appearances this season. But the 34-year-old has won trophies. He's won one SPFL and one Carling Cup. He spent a large part of his career in Scotland with Dundee, Rangers, St Mirren and many clubs like that until moving to England where he has played for big clubs such as Liverpool, Stoke where I would say he's most renowned for, getting up to a fee of £7 million until going to Blackpool and then most recently Reading. Charlie Adam has played 432 games in his career, getting just under 150 goal involvements. This includes 34 goals and 34 assists in just over 200 appearances in the Prem. And I remember a few of them goals. The, the screamer from the halfway line against Chelsea being arguably the most memorable. As well as getting 32 goal contributions in 85 games in the Championship, or 20 goal contributions in 50 games in the Scottish League. And he's even done it on the biggest stage of them all, getting two goals in five Champions League appearances. This means over his career, he gets a goal every 365 minutes. And for a 34-year-old at the base of midfield, that is a few goals a season which could help your club massively. And that is it, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy our latest episode of our new series. I know I mentioned it earlier in the video, but if you wouldn't mind liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and putting notifications on, it would mean the world to us. We are slowly and slowly getting to that 350 subscriber mark, and we are growing every single day, so I can't thank you guys enough. Our links will be in the description, as always. If you have any opinions or questions about what happened in today's video, just drop a comment. Two videos like this will be on screen very shortly, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.